What drives you? Maybe you're struggling with studying. Maybe you're wrestling with sleep. But NeuroDrive is here to help. NeuroDrive is the first dual-channel EEG device designed for attention detection. NeuroDrive can read the electrical potentials from your brain activity and alert you if you've lost your focus. We are here to support you in finding your drive, anywhere between acing that exam to saving your life. NeuroDrive triggers a visual and audio alert when an inattentive state is detected in our algorithm. That way you don't have to worry about falling asleep on your class notes or behind the wheel. Maintain your focus and stay safe when you're doing tasks that are important to you and your loved ones. Find your focus, find your drive with NeuroDrive. Have you ever felt sleepy behind the wheel or actually fallen asleep while driving? In the United States alone, drowsiness is the main cause of accidents on the road, responsible for 10% of crashes and thousands of deaths each year. Our state-of-the-art two-channel EEG system collects brainwaves from users and alerts them while the inattentive state is alerted. Our device is designed to be easy to use, easy to maintain and comfortable for your daily and long driving hours. All you need to do is turn it on strap in and let it drive you away. All our algorithm is based on the initial finding that different mental states produce a change in the brain frequencies immediately. We can see this happening here when the user closes their eyes. We use this information to train our algorithm. The way this works is the person has their eyes open for two minutes and then the signal is collected and divided into four frequency bands through bandpass filter. Each band is divided into one second periods which we use as features to train our random forest classifier. This classifier receives a label for this type of data. Let's say the label is 1. And then we do the same process but for eyes closed. And then we give the algorithm the opposite label to indicate that the digested data we're feeding it corresponds to the opposite state. Now that the algorithm is trained to recognize both states, we can feed it a digested one second window of data with the eyes open and the algorithm will output a prediction saying that the person is on stage 1 or stage open eyes. If, on the other hand, we fitted data with the eyes closed, it will output a prediction for state zero or eyes closed Open and trigger an alarm for the person to wake up. We run this algorithm through a simple, easy to use user interface that allows you to first calibrate the algorithm and then predict based on the collected data from the person, triggering an alarm if too many inattentive predictions are obtained. Our device has a wide range of possible uses and a lot of room to grow. Currently, it can be used for any driver who's looking to stay safe, ADHD testing, or students looking to stay alert during long study sessions. The price point of the device is set at $1,800, with our material cost per unit at $413. With all other costs between hiring two employees, a marketing firm, equipment, and other overhead costs, our monthly expenses are about $12,700. This means that we need to sell about nine devices per month in order to break even, with an almost $1,400 profit for every subsequent device that is sold. Our marketing plan would be to target companies rather than individuals, primarily due to the cost of the device as a low end price point as far as EEG devices go, but more expensive to charge on a personal level. Trucking and shipping companies, school institutions, or some medical institutions are some possible customers. NeuroDrive has been successful at detecting periods of eyes open and eyes closed with a 90% accuracy on different subjects, even under noisy conditions like a driving scene. This has been a valuable experience because it helped us identify two key findings. The device can accurately detect different states of consciousness based on voltage changes from brain activity, and the device also works on different subjects as long as the position is correct. These findings set a strong foundation for future research into attentiveness testing. So far, testing has been a challenge due to the subjectivity of classification of our device, platform, and its unsupervised machine learning algorithms set a clear path forward in the realization of